What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, our sponsor is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight-figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. I know Connor is a part of Mastermind because I did watch a video of you talking about it. Um, today, we have Con- I'm very excited. We have Connor McCluskey, founder of BombBomb. BombBomb is an interactive email service provider. And basically, you can make quick and easy personalized videos embedded in an email to wow friends, family, or business relationships. I first heard of BombBomb because I got a BombBomb. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. So I had to find out more, so we're here. Um, He co-founded a service company in the multifamily housing industry that grew to 60 employees, over $1.7 million in just four years. If that wasn't enough, Connor is also an owner in a vineyard and winery called Proper Wines in Walla Walla, Washington, and it was named the best new winery by Seattle Magazine. Connor, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. People may think, well, Connor comes from a pedigree of, you know, did really well in high school, went on to college, went to wherever, some elite business school, then went on to start these companies, right? But you had a little bit of a non-traditional path. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was a art major at Lansing Community College. Uh, I did that for one year and then uh, dropped out and moved to Colorado. And um, the interesting part of that story is my business partner now, um, I met because uh, I was stoned and drove underneath the um, uh, hotel uh, deal with my mountain bike on top and ripped the headset off of it. And so I couldn't ride my mountain bike. And I met my now business partner drinking beer and said, I need, I don't have a hundred bucks to get this fixed. And he said, come paint the atrium of this hotel. I'll give you a hundred bucks. We get chatting, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you should just come work with me. And uh, and I'm like, sweet. And so um, that atrium, we now, in the tower of that building, we now have the seventh and sixth really? room of that building. Wow. And the people we subbed the business from painted our whole floor. So what did he have like a painting business or what was a painting, business. a painting business? And so we started a painting business and then um, that got us into the deck business and and then that's what turned That was the multi family housing thing. industry. Wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. And it all started with the broken bike. Broken headset. Broken headset. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Kind of yeah. that's crazy. So it why was, did you move surreal. to when you were moving to Colorado? What, why, why Colorado? What were you intending to do? Well, I'm from Michigan, right. um, and I loved skiing in the mountains, mountain biking, and so I always wanted to move out here, and uh, I just didn't have an excuse until then. <laughs> <laughs> you just made your own excuse. Yeah. yeah, my parents uh, were not happy that I dropped out of college, um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I wanted to be in the mountains, man. They're calling me, and so I've got to I've got to love the mountains. Yeah. As well. So you went from college to Colorado to the painting business to the multifamily housing industry, and then to the winery and. The bomb bomb video. Billboards. Oh, billboards. Yeah. 
Yeah, we lost everything in the multifamily. We uh, we were growing just hugely fast. Got into like remodeling and deck building and all this stuff. And we didn't use lawyers or accountants. And we got completely jacked out of like some contracts and people not paying just, up and fulfilling yeah, on their end of the bargain. And, and we ended up, yeah, we, we had, you know, 60 people about on staff and we were, you know, I was early twenties and didn't know what I was doing and, and, uh, you know, went for broke and about went from, went broke and, uh, ended up, uh, getting a job as a uh, intern at Lamar Outdoor Advertising. Um, so I went from running 60 people in about November to about February 1, I was filing uh, things. A in little Alabama. bit of a different there. Yeah. And so, and I was living in somebody's basement. The, the mechanic next door that we had an office and there was a mechanic next door. He was like, hey, I know you're losing everything. And uh, if you want to live in my basement, you can. And so I did that. Got That's nice of him. And, uh, and then, you know, built my way up in, at Lamar and, and um, you know, hustle. So did you learn this hustle entrepreneurship? Your parents or where, where does this come from? My grandfather, he, um, my dad's an entrepreneur. My grandfather was a huge influence. Um, uh, but yeah, my, my, my dad and my grandfather are both, both, uh, entrepreneurs. And it was, you know, you work your, my, my father run, ran a metal finishing company and he was like, Here's how you start. You start off on the lawn crew and you mow the lawn for like five years. And then you go over to your grandpa's place and you mow the train tracks or you weed whip the train tracks for a month. And that like one summer, my grandfather tore down a, a warehouse and it was all the beams for the warehouse, big metal warehouse. And he said, you know what you're going to do this summer? <laughs> you're going to, for $4.23 an hour, you're going to take that, that um, he had a grinder. And he says, you're going to grind all the metal to bare metal and then paint it. And so for a summer, wow. he would dry, he'd pick me up from my house, drop me off, and he'd be like, go grind that 50 foot, those... Those 90, 50 foot beams and then paint them. Right. My uncle called me up like a year ago and said, we finally scrapped that metal building that grandpa made you do. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck? And so they would just, you know, it, it was a, it's Michigan, Midwest, work ethic, you know. You work your butt off. You do everything so you know it. Like at Bomb, Bomb, I answered all. Me and Darren were the head of support. I mean, we would yeah, answer the all. call. Steve, who's now our CMO, the VP of of um, of Move, we ended up hiring him. He would call in. I'd be like, Bomb, Bomb. He'd be like, Connor. I'd be like, you know, I'm just trying to keep, uh, you know close to our customers and he didn't <laughs> know we i actually had to answer the phone right. and so yeah he it was it was yeah. uh, well i see a book like if you ever do write a book um it's a true grind you know like you experience a true grind from early on yeah true grind <laughs> yeah so it's um yeah i mean it, it's like what i said it's I mean, you show up. Yeah. You just go. You just keep on going. Yeah. Perseverance. Connor, thank you. I really want to be the first one to thank you. This has been hugely valuable. I Everyone should check out bombbomb.com, exactly, B-O-M-B, B-O-M-B.com, and, and check it out. It wowed me when I first got my first bomb bomb, and uh, also properwines.com. Um, any final parting words, 
Connor, that anything we missed with uh, lessons or, or stories? No, it's no. Uh, I, I was talking to this this guy on Saturday, an electrician, and he was he was doing some stuff. He said, "What what what was your um, what's your one word of advice? I want to start my own business." I was like, "I don't I don't know." <laughs> Oh my God! Ah, yeah. Now you have an answer. It's just and, grind, uh, and you tell and, that story. And I thought about it, and and he left, and I said, you know, the biggest thing that I did was when we were at four people, I set out here are the values I'm going to live by, mm-hmm. and I'm going to hold myself accountable to that, and and no matter what, no matter it, it doesn't make economic sense a lot of the time. But if you can go to bed and if you can leave it all on the field and knowing that you lived up to those values, it doesn't matter what people say about you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Check out bombbomb.com. Connor, thanks again. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, like a beach if you find the sand right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand.